Aloha everyone and welcome back to the Leilani Estates update for June 25th, 2018. We're going to get right into it tonight. Uh, there's really not a lot to talk about. Um, pretty much the same as everything was yesterday. Uh, fissure number 8 continues to supply lava to the open channel all the way to the ocean. There have been uh, only small and short-lived overflows along the, the uh, lava channel levees. Uh, sporadically throughout the day. Um, not um, really moving very far or mounting to anything other than a little bit of spillover. Uh, the, spat the, the spatter cone is still about 180 feet tall or 54.8 meters in height. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, fissure 22 is weakly active. Uh, however, fissure 16 and 18 were not observed this morning by the USGS. Air quality in Upper Leilani today was very good. Um, according to the EPA, uh, the Kapono sensor is currently down. However, at 3.58 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, it was reading 0.04 parts per million for sulfur dioxide and 0 parts per million for hydrogen sulfide gases. The sensor up at the top of Leilani at 1.30 and uh, Leilani Avenue at 10.44 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time was reading uh, zero parts per million for SO2 and zero parts per million for H2S. Yesterday, June 24th, up on Kilauea Volcano Summit at 4.12 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, after approximately 17 hours of elevated seismicity, a collapse explosion occurred at the summit, producing um, a ash pour steam plume that went undetected by the weather radar. Visual observations suggested that the plume rose less than 2,000 feet above the caldera before uh, drifting downwind to the southwest. The energy released by the event was equivalent to a magnitude 5.3 earthquake. Um, seismicity dropped abruptly from a high of 25 to 35 earthquakes per hour. Um, many in the magnitude of 2 to 3 uh, range. Um, prior to the collapse explosion, excuse me, prior to the collapse explosion down to less than 10 per hour afterwards. Within three hours, seismicity began to creep up again, averaging about 30 earthquakes per hour by daybreak on June 25th. Inward slumping of the rim and walls of Halima'uma'u continue in response to ongoing subsidence at the summit. Now I'd like to say thank you to everyone that has supported me on the doinghawaii.smugmug.com and the uh, redbubble.com uh, platforms and uh, have made purchases. I, I really do appreciate that. Um, every little bit helps and, uh, you know, it really makes me, you know, feel good knowing that, uh, you know, there are some people out there that uh, like, you know, my photography work and, uh, and, and, and want to have a copy of it for themselves. Uh, it's kind of a good feeling, and, and I really want to say thank you to everyone that, that has participated in, in, you know, giving me that feeling. Not saying that the rest of you that, that haven't participated, you know, don't. Uh, Y'all do. Just seeing your comments and, and all that, uh, you know, really kind of brightens my day, and I, I greatly appreciate it all. So if you don't know, I, I've got a, a, a Smug Mug account. It's... Um, doing hawaii.smugmug.com uh you can find the links in the description uh you can also find my link to the uh the red bubble where you can get t-shirts clocks phone cases laptop skins and you know a large assortment of, of other items uh with uh, my photography uh printed on them as well and of course uh you know follow me on twitter and you can share your photos with me there very easily uh, for those that don't have Twitter, you know, I, I apologize for that. Uh, if you have any ideas, that's a, a nice, easy place to, to do that type of thing. Uh, you know, leave it in the comments and let us all know. Well, that wraps up the update for tonight. Uh, thank you all for listening. And this has been the Leilani Estates update for June 25th, 2018.